A lot of rocks on this island, and very peculiar ones too. Have a look at this. Didn't hurt a bit, because they're not really rocks. They are made out of something similar. They're very peculiar things. Have a closer look. That is pumice, and it's made by volcanoes. You see, some volcanoes are under the sea, and they throw up stuff which is very much like molten rock, and it's got gases in it, and it's very hot, and it's molten, and it hits the seawater, and it forms steam. The result is really something very much like frothy rock, very much like the sort of honeycomb you get in chocolate bars, a bit like polystyrene foam. Well, here's a test. If that's foam, even if it's rock foam, it really ought to float. Let's give it a go. Here we are, the launching of the rocks. And they do indeed float. How about that? Floating rocks. In fact, what happens is, as a pumice forms, it floats to the surface of the sea, and it's carried in ocean currents for vast distances around great parts of the world. And these have come to rest on islands in the Great Barrier Reef off North Queensland. If you look at it, it's not only frothy, it's really rather soft. At least it seems to be. You can press it in with your fingernail. But at the same time, it files your fingernail away. It's very abrasive. You might have pumice in your bath that you use to get stains off the skin. And if you've ever been to the dentist and had your teeth brushed, the chances are the dentist used pumice powder. Interesting stuff. Thank you.